Hi guys, so my name is Melody and I'm going to be telling you guys a few things about the lab, lab rules. So most importantly, um, many of you may not have been in a lab setting before, so first things are lab coats. You would always have your lab coat on. You put it on when you come to class. If you don't have a lab coat, most likely you're not going to be able to participate. And um, clothes to shoes are important. You're going to want to have your hair pulled back. Um, you might not realize, but your hair actually holds a lot of bacteria, more than you're probably aware of. And every time you touch your hair, you're actually touching bacteria that could contaminate the surface that you're going to be cleaning or anything that you're going to be working with. Um, actually, I had no idea how dirty my hair was. And in lab, one time we were working on hand washing plates. And every time I washed my hands, I would put my hair back behind my ears, touch the plate, and out of 20 kids, I had the dirtiest hand washing plate in the entire class. Kind of was funny, kind of not, when you think of how often I would touch my hair, and then let's say you touch your face, your face is full of germs, your, your breath, your, just, you want to try and stay as clean as possible. Aseptic technique is something I'm going to be telling you guys about also. So, lab rules and lab rules. Um, personally, I love being here, so as long as you follow the safety protocols, you're going to have a great time also. Um, lab rules, most importantly, is a lab coat. And these are just things I'm writing down for myself. So I remembered that I spoke about it. Um, I'm going to write as legible as I can. My handwriting is terrible. So we have a lab coat, we have closed toe shoes, Um, no sandals, you want to, I mean, as long as your lab coat is long, you want to protect yourself from anything we might be working with. In this lab, we're going to be working with um, Mycospegmatis, which is a cousin of tuberculosis, but it is still a bacteria you want to be careful of and not bring home or contaminate anything else with. Lab coat, close your shoes, and what's really important and what I'm going to show you is keeping a septic technique. So the first thing you would do when you come in a lab is you have your lab coat on. You would take it off if you need to go to the bathroom. It only is worn inside of the classroom. You're going to have clothes to your shoes on and you're going to clean your workbench. So when cleaning your workbench, you're going to have your spray disinfectant. You're going to have Cytokon and most importantly, gloves. You want to wear gloves when um, using the disinfectants and the cytokine especially because it actually has um, properties in it that could it actually has um, properties in it that could damage your skin. So first we're going to we're going to spray the your spray bottle might work a little better also. Um, we're going to spray the table with cytokine. And we're going to wipe it down from the back to the front. You want to take care that your arm is rubbing on it, your coat is not rubbing on it. Um, to be honest, you won't even be talking over the surface because at the moment, me moving like this, me talking, I'm projecting bacteria and debris onto my surface that I'm trying to keep aseptic, which is free from contamination and free from other bacteria. So we're letting this table dry. It should take about a minute or two. Um, you want to let it air dry. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to walk past it. You don't want to talk over it. Um, once it is dry, we're going to take the disinfectant and we're just going to spray over it. And same thing from back to front. Not talking while you're doing it. You're going to clean the table.
and you're also going to let this dry on its own. It should take about a minute or two. Not talking over it, not walking past it. You want to just kind of take this time to relax, to think about what you're going to be setting up and what you're going to be doing next. Thinking, what are you actually doing? Well, you're cleaning this table, you're disinfecting it, you don't want to be projecting or contaminating it further. So once your table is disinfected and aseptically clean, you could now begin to move your materials over and begin the protocol you'd be working on.